Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Orbit of Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. The year is over, and I'm having a look back at all of the great games that I have played throughout 2023. Some of the games that I've enjoyed most include incremental upgrade games, games where you can make small changes that have big consequences at the end of the road. I thought I'd take a look at the best ones that I have played this year. Now, I know it is a little bit tough to nail down exactly what an incremental upgrade game is, but anything that allows you to purchase upgrades or expand land through purchases incrementally seems pretty good as a, as a criteria. I have played a bunch of games this year, in total over 250 new releases in the strategy space and only the best of those have made it onto the channel and only the best of those in any given category have made it onto this list so this really is the creme de la creme i've tried to include only games that you can actually play on steam right now rather than demos although there are a few truly exceptional demos that have made this list. I've also got a few bonus games and honorable mentions at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned until then. Let us get to the games. Factory Town Idol is based on the hugely popular automation game Factory Town. Factory Town Idol, however, is an incremental upgrade game that's also a city builder. And boy, oh boy, it is really, really good. The premise of this one is pretty simple. You start with nothing, no resources, no workers, no cash. You need to grow your town by using the power of your click to collect resources. However, you won't be doing that for long, as soon you'll have the resources needed to start building homes for your workers, and once you've got workers, well, you're rolling. Suddenly, a world of automation and optimization becomes available to you. From there, it's all about making sure that you progress through the research tech tree, refining and producing items to sell at the market. Unlock recipes, explore exotic biomes, and so much more. Factory Town Idol released into early access in April of 2023 and I really enjoyed my time with the game. You can check out more of the games uh, linked in the top right hand corner uh, right now and you can also check out the game linked down in the description below. I know, I know, I said I wouldn't put any demos on this list that weren't truly exceptional. Well, ladies and gents, this game is truly exceptional. I'm preemptively giving it that accolade right now. I obviously can't predict release, but if it is anything like this demo, then it is going to be a smash hit banger supreme. Right, Potato, enough with the gushing, let's get to the game. This is Super Fantasy Kingdom, a roguelike city builder set in a relaxing fantasy world. Explore and rebuild your kingdom to bring it back to its former glory. Defeat hordes of monsters with a unique team of defenders. Harvest, build, mine, cook, brew, feed, and grow, but be prepared to watch it all burn. And it's in the burning that the upgrading and the incremental upgrading specifically happens. Be prepared to see multiple iterations of your city fall as you have to retackle hordes of bad guys again and again. This is just such a great combination of strategy genres, a city builder plus incremental upgrade elements with a sprinkling of roguelike. I cannot wait for this one. Uh, it was actually picked up by strategy game publisher Hooded Horse, which is a great sign of things to come. This one will be releasing properly in 2024, but in the meantime, play this demo because you definitely will not regret it. Outpath is an experimental clicker base building game. Craft, gather, and manage resources, build your base, and buy more islands to exploit and expand. Um, I'm just going to immediately jump to the conclusion and tell you that this game absolutely slaps. You'll find yourself building a lovely little base in a stunning, voxely looking world. There is so much to unlock, so much to upgrade, and so much fun to be had. This game feels unbelievably satisfying to play, and it's quite unique given that it's sort of in first-person perspective. I really enjoyed my time with this one when it came out in October. Outpath is now out in full release. You can check it out along with every other game with timestamps in the description down below. A relatively recent find for me, even though this one came out in August, 
just goes to show that even though there's hundreds of games released onto Steam every day, there's still a bunch of diamonds in the rough to find. Anyway, For the Crown is a Lemmings style upgrade base builder. You're basically in charge of all logistics for your little kingdom, and you have to ensure that your castle gets all the resources it requires to thrive and expand. To do that, you need to set up profit pathways from production facilities to your castle, your base of operations. Over time, your castle grows, and you'll need more sophisticated resources to satisfy the demands of your citizens. You'll also unlock new production chains of resources that need to be delivered. Honestly, the game looks simple and cutesy on the surface, but it is a really challenging title. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at the amount of fun that you can have optimizing the routes that your workers take. It really is very good. Anyway, check out my video of this one linked in the top right hand corner and also consider giving the demo a look if you think that it is something that you're interested in checking out. Moving underground, we arrive at Mining Mechs, which is a super cheap and cheerful underground mining game. Mine for valuable resources and upgrade your mech for even bigger holes as you explore the underground. You're even able to play with friends in co-op. How great is that for a game that costs a few bucks? This game is all about making enough money for the simple purpose of digging deeper. What lies below? Who knows, but it's your job to find out. This is a super satisfying game, and soon you'll have a network of underground tunnels leading all over the place. You can even set up an oil drilling network to earn income passively. Truly, this is a fun game. Releasing at the end of October, it's pretty new on the scene, but don't let that deter you as this game has already cruised to an overwhelmingly positive review score on Steam. That's over 95% of reviews being positive. People really seem to like this one, and I, for one, agree with them all. Terra Cards is a game all about building out a productive farm in the middle of the ocean. Why on earth you're in the middle of the ocean? I'm afraid I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, you start small on a single island and chain together adjacency bonuses by planting crops and by placing buildings. You need to balance a bunch of resources, including cash, your water, your fuel. It gets challenging pretty darn fast, I must say. You need to make sure that you don't upgrade your farm too fast or too recklessly because otherwise you'll be in trouble. There's clearly lots more to come with this game too. It is currently in early access with more updates and content on the way. In Terraforge, you've got to build up and manage your mining operation, collect resources and craft items to sell for profit. Upgrade your mining tools. As you progress towards your goal, you can purchase better mining licenses and delve deeper into the earth. Collect mystical ancient relics to gain their power and boost your efficiency. This is a pretty unique little game. Um, not only do you end up sort of mining away and exploring the underground, but you also have to work on your smithing and your smelting operation above ground to ensure that you're able to turn a profit with all of the spoils from down below. Uh, I don't think this game is going to give you hundreds of hours of entertainment, but I also don't think it's meant to. It's a few bucks. Pick it up in early access right now. I'm sure there'll be more content added, or at least I hope there's going to be more content uh, content added. But yeah, this is a nice little this is a nice little game. Mistward is a game that also featured on my upcoming city builder list for good reason, because this is a top tier city builder with a super huge amount of potential. The reason it deserves its place on this list is quite simply because it's an incremental upgrade game as well. If you've never heard of Mistward, it's a survival city builder set on a mysterious island enshrouded in a poisonous mist. Create light sources to keep the mist at bay, build houses and command humans to gather resources. Explore the island and find a way out. All unlocks happen in a very sort of structured fashion, so it's pretty easy to sort of follow the upgrade pathway. Similarly, it's important to keep the mist away, and every time you shift it, you've got a new area to explore. This is a great game. It's in early access currently with a huge amount of potential, as I noted earlier. Mob Factory is a monster factory builder where you incrementally improve your factory and expand your kingdom to build a bigger and bigger automated monster slaying setup. I'll be honest with you, this isn't a hugely, I guess, 
incrementally upgradey type of game, but there are absolutely elements that allow for its inclusion on this list. Uh, build an interconnected factory to turn mobs into resources, buy islands, craft new spawners, and much more. As you acquire new materials from new enemies, you get to upgrade your assembly lines with new technology to make them all increasingly efficient. It's just a great game. I'd really recommend it. It's out now, so you can check it out. Again, linked down in the description below. And last but not least, we've got Acres. I actually spoke about this game in my top 10 tycoon games of the year, but I thought I'd throw it in here. But it is absolutely worth going and watching that top 10 tycoon games of the year video, because if you like these games on this list, you're probably going to like the games on that list too. There's a bunch of similarities, and honestly, there are just there's just so many great games to consider from 2023. So have a look at some other great games. Anyway, Acres is a small strategy simulation game about growing crops for evolving market demands. Build a farm, one acre at a time, to create a prosperous enterprise. Upgrade equipment, optimize harvests, and nurture the soil against increasing time pressure. This isn't an overly complex game. I don't want to overhype it, but I personally think you're going to have a great time building out your farm, planning all your crops, planting them, and then harvesting them. It's just a great upgrade uh, upgrade game as you go from clicking and harvesting all your crops rather sluggishly and manually to a fully automated proper setup. There's loads of potential here as well uh, because it's just entered early access. This is one of those games that I think is just going to get better and better over time. I cannot wait to see how it evolves. So that's it for the main list. Um, before we get to the bonus games, I'll do what I always try and do and ask you to let me know what games I have maybe missed from this list, what games you have enjoyed playing this year. Please do let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested in seeing a specific subcategory or subgenre of strategy games broken down into uh, into this into this list sort of fashion that I'm doing, uh, also let me know down in the comments below. It is greatly appreciated. Anyway, let's move on to the bonus games, shall we? Island of Mine is a casual upgrade game where you have to build out a home and expand your island territory. To be fair, the clue is kind of in the name. Uh, this is a nice little game, very similar to Forager, uh, with quite a management-y style sort of to it, which is no bad thing. Uh, there is an alpha version of the game on itch currently, but it is coming to Steam at some point in the future. Uh, no idea on a release time frame and no real idea about what's going to be different from the itch version or how the full game is going to look, but definitely one to keep an eye on if you're interested in this sort of game. To the Core is an incremental game about extracting and using resources from planets to buy upgrades. This is actually a bit of a unique entry on this list as I haven't actually played it. For whatever reason, when it came out, it just totally passed me by, which is a shame because it really seems to be up my street. Therefore, I can't give it my wholehearted recommendation, hence why it's booted into honorable mentions. But if you like incremental upgrade games, I'll wager you'll probably like this one, even if that's just purely based on the number of people who told me this game is excellent. And last but not least, we've got Farmkeeper. Farmkeeper is actually quite similar to Terra Cards. I think Terra Cards is maybe slightly better of the two games, but that's no reason not to check this one out if you know that it's a type of game that you're interested in. Major difference between Terra Cards and Farmkeeper. In Farmkeeper, you can reuse your building space after you've uh, after you've got it, which does make a pretty big difference. Farmkeeper hopped onto the scene in June and is available right now. So that's it, folks. I've got a whole bunch of other 2023 recaps coming, so make sure you're subscribed for those. Make sure you also check out my top 10 city builders, top 10 management games, and especially my top 10 tycoon games of 2023 if you liked this video, because you'll be able to find a bunch of other great games that I've not managed to squeeze onto this list. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible, and I will see you next time. Bye.